And what I want to share with you today is talk a little bit about um, one of the questions I get a lot about is uh, obviously symptom based, you know, fatigue, uh, energy, um, you know, things to that nature. But I want to mention briefly about some significant nutrient deficiencies that I commonly see that I want to touch base on. And one of the most common ones is magnesium. And I bet that. Um, you watching probably have had some of these same symptoms. So um, fatigue, straight up fatigue, I mean, that could be many different things. I always talk about, you know, it could be a thyroid um, involvement or anemia, like iron deficiencies and things like that. Um, but fatigue is one of them. Uh, muscle cramps is a big one. You know, people get their muscle twitch in the eye. Um, you've probably heard of people with angina or heart disease, heart pain. That significantly can be a something simple as a magnesium deficiency. So, um, how, how do you know? How do you know what you have or don't have? That's one of the big questions I get. So, and that's in my office. We always tend to look deeper at some of these situations. So, what I want to briefly show, I have obviously written some information out because my handwriting is starting to get a little bad um, uh, over the years. So, I wanted to write some things out to start and then show where I'm going with this and kind of how magnesium is involved uh, in your daily life. So magnesium, you know, typically found in most of your leafy green vegetables and some nuts and beans, uh, actually is involved in over, it's documented at least 300 uh, nutritional or biochemical processes in the body. Probably many more, there's so many more things that we don't know. Uh, but 300 processes, even if it was that was the case, is a huge number. And think of your body having multiple locks in them, and you have to have multiple keys to unlock these locks. So if you're missing some of these keys, these locks aren't going to be able to open properly. You're not going to get proper physiological functions, um, making correct hormones, helping your immune system. Uh, it goes on and on. So something as simple as magnesium found in your, you know, your kale or your chard or whatever leafy vegetables you like can be a problem. So what I have here is, it's going to be tempting to read ahead, I know. Uh, follow me here though. So magnesium deficiency, things that affect that. So one of the biggest things that I see in my office is a higher sugar diet. And a higher sugar diet can be anything, obviously it's candy and cakes and cookies and stuff like that, but even refined foods. So a lot of boxed foods, things in a box, um, a lot of processed foods, you probably heard that term. Uh, that contains a lot of sugar because that's how your body processes it. It's really refined and your body uses minerals like calcium, magnesium, phosphorus to help utilize and, and metabolize basically these low processed foods. Um, so that's a huge deal we see with people. So that leads to a magnesium deficiency problem. Um, obviously follow these green arrows here. A higher sugar diet leads to higher insulin. Insulin is the hormone that kind of helps regulate your blood sugar. And I know you've heard of insulin resistance, um, diabetes, prediabetes, and the more our, our insulin levels are uh, out of control, maybe due to poor uh, higher sugar diet, I mean, that's, that's going to start leading us to weight changes, uh, diabetes, um, basically a lot of hormones that shut down. They don't work very well. So obviously a higher insulin leads to magnesium deficiency problems. A big one I'm seeing recently, uh, well, it's not recently because most people drink caffeine, it's one of America's uh, largest, I guess, drug intake. But um, I guess what I should say is not only you think of coffee, but energy drinks. I see a lot of even healthy people in my office. They're generally healthy, uh, in shape, uh, exercise regularly, look good, um, but they're very high caffeine intake users. So sports drinks, things that get them going through their workouts. And uh, lo and behold, four, four or five years go by and these people are just down in this stuff daily. Um, I mean, I to be transparent with you, I, I love coffee. I love good quality coffee. But I also know that through recent testing with me that I do have magnesium deficiency as well. And uh, I can feel that symptomatology uh, throughout my life. So I need to watch that myself. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, preaching at myself here. Um, 
but coffee, tea, uh, even though there's health benefits to those, a lot of strong antioxidant properties, and actually uh, some studies have shown uh, caffeine, you, I think the studies were based off coffee, showed some good effects with, with diabetics, but this is minimal, minimal amounts. If we have an overt magnesium deficiency already, pouring more gas on the fire is just going to make this worse. And when you add these things up, we start getting symptoms that we're trying to figure out main causes from, even though symptoms can be a wide, a wide array of issues going on. So the biggest ones I see in my office, and probably the ones that you may experience, is fatigue, uh, mood changes, irritability can be a big one, anger, uh, being frustrated and upset a lot more, uh, things tip you off, uh, that can be a big one. Uh, cramps, so muscle cramps, you're laying at night and your, 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 can't, your calves cramp up and you gotta jump out of bed and do a crazy dance, uh, or your feet, that's very common. Um, there's, there's other things involved, but man, you, that's, that's a big one. But also cramps with women as a PMS symptom. Um, their monthly cycles are having major cramps. I mean, yes, there's hormones involved, but there can also be a magnesium or nutrient deficiency. When the body's craving more or wanting more uh, during that time of hormone shift, their, their bucket of, of nutrients are low, therefore they're missing some of these important nutrients causing uh, excessive cramping. Uh, this goes along with headaches too. So heart, I say heart disease more in the sense of um, heart rhythm problems. Uh, angina, like blood vessels constricting, uh, giving uh, pain in the chest. Uh, so, because your muscle is a heart, it's a strong, powerful, beautiful muscle. And uh, if you get cramps and twitches in your eyes or your legs, why couldn't you get cramps in your heart? So, um, and that's a more serious thing that uh, something as simple as magnesium uh, deficiency problems can lead to great issues like, like heart problems. Um, and then the other big one that we kind of touched on is poor blood sugar handling. When you miss a lot of these nutrients and they're leached away from your diet, um, too much caffeine or eating a very high refined carbohydrate diet, you're missing some of these tools that your body needs to manage blood sugar effectively and efficiently. And again, the, this doesn't happen overnight, but given you know, over a period of time, you're starting to, to stare diabetes in the face. Your metabolism changes, you start to gain weight and uh, store weight in places that you're not particularly uh, fond of. So medications that are commonly uh, involved with causing magnesium deficiencies. I'm not anti-medicine, I'm not saying that. It's, there's medications that uh, one of their side effects, not only causing side effects, but can cause other deficiencies that we, we me in particular as a functional medicine doctor, have to take consideration um, I have some women who come to me with hormone problems and, and migraines and all other kinds of issues, all to find out that a lot of it's just their medications. Um, we can work with them nutritionally, and sometimes their, their doctor has to lower their medication doses to improve symptoms. Um, but anyway, so some of the medications, um, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, some antibiotics are caused to lower, not all of them, I think tetracycline is one of them that causes lower uh, magnesium levels, um, steroids, uh, uh, prednisone, cortisone, things for anti-inflammatories. Anti-inflammatories are needed because if there's a fire going out of control, we have to contain the fire, we just don't let it burn. Problem is long term, we don't want to be using these things, we want to fix the problem because you can cause these nutrient depletions over time. So. But steroids are big. They're very powerful in the body, but they can also cause some major deficiencies. Um, diuretics, which is basically what caffeine is. Caffeine, alcohol, uh, but medications that basically make you uh, urinate more and they pull minerals with you. So people who are on uh, diuretics uh, usually should be monitored, and they probably are through blood work, uh, to look at their uh, electrolytes like magnesium, potassium, chloride, uh, just to make sure they're not causing any um, abnormalities with that. Uh, finally, the largest one I see and might be common with you watching is birth control or hormones. Um, you've probably heard of folic acid and you know when, if you're going to get pregnant, be on your folic acid and B vitamins because those birth controls can help deplete uh, B vitamins long term and I'll get into that in a separate uh, article or video. But magnesium is huge too. Uh, magnesium is helpful for hormones to work in here your medications are probably depleting that as well. 
So in preconception health and fertility health, I always stress women who are on birth control, who were on birth control, what is your nutrient status like after you go off uh, hormones? Because you want to be able to, one, be healthy as possible, but two, we know that this nutrition status is passed on to your baby, and um, that's very, very uh, important. So steroids huge and if you've watched any of my other um, wonderful videos you'll notice that your body's own steroid is cortisol cortisol is your body's natural stress hormone which is a steroid so one of the bigger things that also can depress magnesium um, is just basically increased stress mental emotional stress um, a lot of arrows. Mental emotional stresses um, like divorces, uh, deaths in the family, job changes, um, holidays with family of course. So you know things like that. Um, good or bad stresses. Either way the body responds the same. I encourage you to look at some past videos about the adrenal glands and the stress response. Stress is good to the body but uh, stress long term creates this output of your body's steroid, cortisol, and long term again that leads to that magnesium demand. Your body demands more so you lose more of it and again leading to more of these issues. So what's your magnesium level I guess is the big question. Uh, I, I can say from my experience it's very very common to have magnesium levels low but not only that, um, magnesium is involved with metabolism with uh, things like calcium and uh, copper and zinc, all of which are important for bone health. So women, that's huge too. Um, mineral status for bone health and things like that. So in my office, it's very important to see some of these nutritional uh, uh, status levels, deficiencies, or, or um, what, what their levels are because um, if we have some changes to make in their health, how do we know what we're starting with? Do we have low magnesium? Do we have okay magnesium. Do we have low calcium or is your calcium fine? So all those are important to know and it, 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 it goes tremendous ways to getting people well. So think about magnesium. Think about how it's involved in 300 plus processes in the body and um, that's quite a bit. So leafy green vegetables, be sure to get more intake of that. And if you have further questions about this or comments, be sure to post some to our Facebook um, or visit my site, uh, drzachwatkins.com. Send us an email if you have any questions about this or any other videos you'd like to see. And I'd be glad to, um, glad to um, comply and, and try to help out from that, that standpoint as well. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.